Halston, when did you read the book? I read the book um, when I found out I was going to be coming into audition and I had a whole week. I was like, this is great. I have a whole week to read this book. It's going to be fine. And I finished it in a day. Like right. I couldn't put it down. It was so good. Were you picturing yourself? Yeah. I, well, I really related to the character of Lacey. So I, I and I like some of John's words I'd actually thought myself. Mm -hmm. And so um, I only killed like three people to get the part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, one of the things that makes Halston's uh, portrayal of Lacey so special is that I think she really does understand what that's like to be like, uh, you know, people judge her based on her looks and, and the fact that she smiles a lot and she's bubbly. And like, even when I met her, I was like, okay, yeah, I know like blonde, bubbly California girls. Like, I know what they're about. Right. Um, but she's not. Like, she's far more complicated than that. And like, she kind of like deconstructs all your ideas of like blonde California girls. Um, and she's just like really smart, interesting, com complex Thanks, person. John. Uh -huh. Now, oh, Nat, you John. read the book before you got the part. Were you picturing yourself in the book? Yeah, I mean, I think I related to Quentin, obviously, but I also related to Margo. I related yeah. to all the characters. I think John's books, you know, all his characters are so complex and he doesn't really talk down to teenagers. And I think that's why all these <laughs> guys and, and me and, and everybody relate to him. It's why all it's kind of. Mostly girls. There's one guy. There's a couple guys. There's one guy. Yeah. He was the luckiest man yeah. in this room. Yeah. 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 It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> There's one dude in here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smart um, thing to do, by I mean, the way. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But no, but I think it's because he doesn't talk down to teenagers. I also think that's why it's an actor's dream because there's so much to play there, you know. What was your guys' first reaction when you were like, oh, this supermodel's going to be in the movie? Well, I, I chemistry read with her, and I was the only person in the entire world who hadn't heard of Cara Delevingne. And, uh, <laughs> but chemistry when read, is that what you call that? Yeah, it's called it's like, a chemistry yeah. read? Yeah, like I had just together. to see if there's just anything. Oh. Oh. So, so I, had, I had the part already, and I kind of read with all the actors. And I, don't pick, I didn't pick any of the actors, but I did say who my favorites were. And every single person that I said was my favorite is the one that's in the movie. Oh, good. Because the power true. you have. So, uh, no, I have no power. It's just that they were so obviously the best. You hold that over the Cara's best. head forever. Yeah. Like, Cara, I want to go to that uh, Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> so, you remember? Yeah, so you, you remember? better give me that. No, but I, I mean, when she walked in, I was the only person who didn't know her. And then she walked in, and I was like, I think you're on a poster right outside my apartment. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I recognize her from some poster. But then she just ended up being so the part and so um, spontaneous and free and not one of those actors that like plan something out in their their you know bedroom the night before you know she's kind of more free and open the it's way really that I like to work. It's a lot of pressure on her because everybody thinks oh you're just a model we have to keep you in that box. Yeah, and, but I'm right. so excited for people to see her in the movie because that's kind of what the movie is about you know that we put people in in these boxes mm -hmm. um, unfairly and that that dehumanizes them and makes them you know less than the sort of complicated rich. Uh, person they are and uh, that's very true for Kara I mean I think when people see the movie they're going to be like wow I mean she did not get that part because she is a model she got that part because she, she was the best for the part and she understands box. that character yeah. <laughs> how, do we, how do we get in that box John where's the supermodel box yeah <laughs> I don't. I would not actually want to be in the supermodel box. Although, admittedly, I am very far from it. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I think it would be. Str I think they've been banging suspicion. John's door down to be in the supermodel box. Yeah, they're just like John. Like, please be the new face of Burberry, and I'm like, I can't. It's just not right for me. <laughs>